Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about related right of chain. So now I want to show you how to answer. A man six feet tall walks at a right of 13 feet per second away from a light that's a 15 feet upon the route. He is about the light in here. When he is 5 feet from the base of the light, at what right is the length of his shadow changing? So now I want to show you how to answer. Uh, this one is about number 5. So, for the first thing, we know that from the base of the light to the man, we have 5 feet. They want to find the length of his shadow changing. That's it about his shadow in here. So, to do about this one, we need to consider about triangles. So, I will use the color to highlight in here. The first thing from the main to this point of the shadow in here, that's it about one right triangle. And the second one, that's if on the light to the point of his shadow. And we have the second triangle in here. So in this situation, we can see that they have the same right angles in here. So we can use about the ratio of triangle. So, let's say I will put the length of his shadow that is about S in here. So, from 0 to this one, that is about S plus number 5 because we have from 0 to number 5 here. So, the height of the man that is about 6 feet, the light that's about 15 feet. So we have the right shown here. So we have 6 over number 15 equals to S over S plus number 5. So we can find the length of his shadow in here by S. So this one we have six s plus thirty equals to number fifteen s. So I will put this one go to the right. We have thirty equals to fifteen s minus number six s, and this one we have nine s. Later that we divide both side by number nine, and we can find about s equal to 30 over 9. So we have 10 over 3. So after we have 10 over 3, we can use the second formula in here. So on the next one, we change 0 to number 5 by y because when we move far away from the light, the y and s they will change the value in here so we want to find what rise is the length of his shadow changing that is about the s over dt so that's about this one in here so we also know that the s over dy multiply by dy over dt because dy with dy they will cancel and return back to this one about the s over dy we can find about the s equals to 8 dy so 
if we boot the integration for the both side they will return back to s equal to 8y so for this one we know that s that is about this number in here y that is about number 5 so we want to find the ratio between s and y so in this situation we have s equal to 10 over 3 and y that is about number 5 so we divide both sides by number 5 So we have 2 over 3 equals to capital 8. So we put number 2 over 3 cone here. So we have the S over the Y equals to 2 over 3. Now this one we have 2 over 3 dy over dt that's a about 13 feet per second in here that is about 26 over number 3 and the unit that is about feet per second this is the end thank you for watching